You know, it's become an issue lately with many Japanese developers who are thought to be on the decline. As they may have started the industry, they're having a lot of trouble these days keeping up with some of those huge Western titles. But as red-blooded men with simple interests, they know how to grab our attention by showing a lot of breast and thigh shots in video games. So let us now review Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Never before have I seen a better game heroine. This action title was developed by Platinum Games in cooperation with publisher Sega, and it revised the genre by inserting a crazy element into it. While similar to Devil May Cry, it piqued my interest with a lot of buzz surrounding its release in early January of 2010, and I eventually knew that I'd come round to this titillating and graceful title. So let's check it out. Set in a world that transcends time, space, heaven and hell, you are a witch who can travel into demonic and angelic worlds at the drop of a hat. With a broken past, Bayonetta is trying to piece together her life as she's constantly being attacked by angels and weird visions. As crazy as it is, it's actually an intriguing story, and Bayonetta herself is a strong and likeable female lead. This was definitely a title made for a male audience, given her sleek and sexy appeal. The action is way over the top, and though it does resemble Devil May Cry at times, it pushes it so much further. Not all of it makes sense, but between the TNA shots, this is a game about pure enjoyment. Controls are easy, the characters have sass, and the art direction is amazing. Although the PS3 version is not as smooth as the Xbox 360s, and you'll experience a lot of long loading times and some dodgy camera issues. As a guy, I couldn't help but keep my eyes off a Bayonetta herself. At first I thought she looked like a librarian, but then she started kicking A and I became in love with her. I mean, half the time she's half naked or dancing around with graceful executions, I mean, the character movements are crazy cool. The artwork is really abundant as well, as her hair acts like a suit, which can transform into a huge monster and eat her foes. It's outrageous, but complete eye candy. The cutscenes are dynamic also, with some film shots, to flashbacks, to sharp action scenes transitioning throughout. Besides this, the European Gothic setting will have many beautiful and extreme levels which are full of life and detail to take in. And the enemies, wow, there's heaps of them and they're all fantastically arty and terrifying. The sound was a bit weird, kind of like a 1930s gangster piano tune, but it does help add a unique mood to Bayonetta, and it does accent her female character, as she's not just a you know man painted as a woman, she does have a lot of female qualities to her. The voice acting is good, especially the sounds of demons and gods, and the morphs in the sound during battles make this a sexy and smooth sounding game. Armed with four guns on her arms and legs and the exotic powers of a witch, Bayonetta is quite the femme fatale. Yet wait until you start doing battle and you'll see just where this game shines. The amount of moves you can do is unbelievable and just with the standard kick, punch, shoot, jump and dodge buttons you'll be able to unleash a horde of different moves on your enemies and all of them are stylistic and cool. What's more, time a dodge just right and you'll slow down time briefly to do even more damage. Or beat your opponent enough and you'll be able to throw your enemy into a torture chamber to end him. Throw them around, shoot them or pick up one of the many different swinging weapons. Believe me when I tell you the action is exhilarating. There's a good sense of reward and achievement here as you're always assessed at the end of each battle. This game also mixes up the play incredibly as you'll race up the side of walls, jump across falling bridges and fight in the air. Not to be burdened with the action, there's plenty of room for puzzles that aren't too difficult but enjoyable nonetheless. As you delve deeper into chaos during the story, things only get crazier. There's a bunch of collectibles and mini games between each level, and you'll earn halos which you can use to purchase upgrades or even more moves. Overall, Bayonetta is one hell of a stylistic, action-packed, fun-filled game. I was a little hesitant towards Bayonetta at first as I thought it was a little too crazy than what I usually like, but once you accept it for what it is, you won't believe how much this game has to offer for you. It kicks Devil May Cry way out of the park, it's got an intriguing story, but I'm pretty sure it's going to damage a lot of young pubescent boys' minds. Now it's a lot better on the 360, you won't have to deal with a lot of loading times, but other than that this game is pure fun. 
and I give it a 9.45 out of 10.02. I'm going to go to the bathroom.